everyone and welcome back. Let me start this video off by saying that it's very rare that I take on uh, review videos from manufacturers. They're basically, you know, they want to send you stuff for free. I get the emails a lot, probably not as much as larger channels, but I get them every once in a while and typically I turn them down for the most part. Um, the main reason I turn them down is I just don't have the time and also a lot of the a lot of the items they uh, want me to do are items that just don't interest me. Well that kind of changed with this particular belt. This is the uh, trackline belt from Core Essentials. Now I've seen a ton of videos of the larger channels putting out videos on this and it's 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 apparent that you know Core Essentials has sent out them belts as well. And to be to make it fair, I haven't watched any of those videos, and when they contacted me, uh, and and I read the email, I went and actually looked at the book. I just kind of skipped over those videos before, as I told you. This this belt actually caught my attention, and the reason is I've been packing heat forever since I was a teenager, mainly when uh, hunting and deer hunting. So we always carried sidearms with us because you never know what you're going to run into, and the biggest issue I've ever had was the doggone belt sucks especially if you're carrying a revolver back in the 80s I used to carry a 357 Magnum that is a very heavy gun to be carrying around now with the polymer pistols it makes it a whole lot easier so like I said when I was contacted by them I thought you know what I'm interested in this belt because this is a problem I have even today let me show you what I'm talking about this is my regular dress belt if you will it's just a typical leather belt and you know when you put this on and you strap a gun on it it sags like a mother it's horrible so this core this belt here from core essentials is supposed to address that and basically what they've done is they've stiffened the interior with a uh, plastic core now a stiff belt is I'm, I'm used to a stiff belt because I compete with the uh, the competition style belts and these suckers are really really stiff and they have like a velcro under under the uh, belt loops and everything and these are great for competition in fact this is the rig I use now when I go hunting in South Texas uh, we're right on the border so we get a lot of illegals coming across so everybody packs heat everybody I hunt with even if they're non gun guys they're packing heat I was very surprised to see that so when I go down there I usually carry a Glock because it's light and it works spare magazine for the Glock and then an AR mag because I'm usually hunting with an AR but this is a very nice stiff belt I like this it's in a hunting environment so I'm not really worried about open carrier open carry or being seen so that's what I carry there but for every day I've started using the core essentials belt here it's a trackline belt um, one of the problems of a half trackline is the uh, the locking mechanism on how it ratchets you know a typical belt has the holes and the big the big little deal right here and you're you're limited on how much adjustment you have because of the spacing of those holes with this here it's in quarter inch increments so if you're if you're wearing a big gun or small gun this allows you to tailor fit the uh, the fit by quarter inch increments how tight you want it how loose you want it and if you go to lunch, eat a bunch of dinner, you can always loosen it up like this. But uh, this is the belt here. It's a one size fits most, I would think. And it's cut to fit. So it's super, super long when you get it. You figure out your belt size and then you cut it to fit and then you clamp on the belt. Now when I got this, before I did the video review, one night I was sitting there watching TV. I was watching Maverick, the old, old Maverick from the 1950s and 60s. And an infomercial came on and it was the comfort click belt and I thought damn that looks exactly like the core essentials belt so I ordered one and it's considerably cheaper than this and by the way I'll put links to where you can buy this stuff in the video description below I hate to be long-winded on this but I think it's important especially for those of us that carry so this is the comfort click belt it is a non it doesn't have any kind of core to it so it's mainly a dress belt it's already started to bend and I wore each of these belts for over a month because I wanted to get some time behind it so I can give an honest review to to you guys instead of just getting it in the mail and uh, regurgitating bullet points so as you can see it's already got a curve from wearing it and my other belt has a curve as well here's a photo 
of the Comfort Click belt and my regular belt and then the uh, Core Essentials belt. And uh, this is laid out on the floor so you can see the curve. And just for kicks, I'll throw the one with your feet. How many photos have you seen of a gun laying on the ground with someone's feet in there? Anyways, coming back to this, I got the Comfort Click belt. It's very similar in that it uses the same type of ratchet system. However, it's not stiff. It doesn't work very well for your pistol. And the locking system for this is sucky, I must say. In fact, it just fell off when I picked up the belt. I don't know how many times I've thrown my clothes on the floor, took my pants off, and this belt freaking comes loose. So basically what you do here for the Comfort Click, and this doesn't mean to be an advertisement for Comfort Click or anything, but it just sticks in like so, and then the little, the little mechanism right here bites into it, and then that's it. But you see how loose that is? So this belt here pretty much sucks, but I needed to show you that. I wanted to show you that for a little bit of a comparison. Now going back to this one here, this being a right-handed person, I put my belt on with the buckle on the left and then you slide this in from the right and it clicks like so. If you want to release it, you basically reach down here with your index finger and lift up here and then you can release it and pull it out. And I've cut this a little bit longer than typical for my belt size just because I wasn't sure how I wanted to, uh, to address it. They come in a few different style of belt buckles so if this is not your style you can get extras on it and this one here clips in very nicely it has not come loose on me at all so basically we can pop that loose right here and you'll notice how the uh, the little spines right here little teeth dig into the plastic or the leather rather and to put it so you trim it with just typical scissors it's not too bad I mean this is these are just some regular sewing scissors so I'm gonna cut right along that line and you know it takes a little bit of force but you're basically you have to defeat that that plastic core in there if you notice right there and that's what keeps it stiff this sucker is so stiff when I would take my shorts off and as you know I carry with shorts we'll slip that in like so and snap it down and it's in there for good you know anyways I wear shorts all year long for the most part and I took my shorts off threw it on the floor and I'm looking at this belt and it's in this perfect hoop it reminded me of those old timey dresses where they wore the hoops underneath their dresses. And it just, I thought it was kind of funny. So the things I've run into this thing, uh, the, it, it's just stiff. When you're trying to go to the bathroom, if you undo your pants, this thing's flopping around and it's just, it's just stiff. I don't, like I said, I'm trying to be honest here. The other thing I have, I've noticed, if you do not tuck your shirt in, so in other words, you have bare skin, your belt is, or your pants are down below, and then your skin is right here. If you're like most shooters, we have a gut. These little uh, cracks right here will catch some hair on your body and pinch the living daylights out of you. So I've run into that issue where it's, it'll pinch some hair and pull, give you a nice hair pull. So tucking your shirt in is optimum, or shaving, one of the two. Um, if you're a left-handed person, I assume left-handed people do it backwards. Like I said, I'm, this is right-hand orientation for me. So let's assume I'm left-handed. I believe left-handed people do this, do it oppositely. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to work out for those if this is, if my theory holds true here. So now if you've got that little button on top, that's going to poke you as well. So I think it's probably best worn with, uh, with a shirt tucked in. But anyways, going back to the gun itself, or the carrying a gun with this thing. Uh, carrying a full-size gun is now a lot easier, uh, but typically I carry the car P9 and an, a spare mag, or if I'm traveling light, it'll be the kel P3AT. And both of these guns are hot, I just, they, they stay hot all the time. I use a belt clip for this, so it really just clips my pants, but having the track line belt uh, keeps keeps my pants from getting drawn down even further. Um, but anyways, if you're looking, if you have this trouble like I do or have had in the past because I don't have it anymore due to the belt, this is definitely a belt for you to investigate, to look into. Uh, the price point is very comparable to most other belts, but if you're buying a nice dress belt, this is probably right in line with those guys, maybe a little bit more, but you're getting the adjustability that this thing has. 
and you're also getting the stiffness that we as concealed carry people or open carry people need. So anyways, links in the video description below where you can pick this up. And as always, thanks for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.